Emacs is a great editor, it's extensible, customizable, which creates its biggest problem. If you can do many things, what should you do? And since other people have thought about what you should do for the specific context, why not reuse it? And that's why uh, Space Max came into, uh, into life. In Space Mac, you just say, I, I program, let's say, in uh, Idris or Haskell or uh, Elm, and you just activate that thing, and it will retrieve an entire configuration made for this purpose. This is great, but what if you want to have multiple configurations running side by side? Let's say you want to have your barebone Emacs because you're used to it, and you also want to have Space Max. And maybe you want to have Space Max with uh, Haskell, or you want to have Space Max with uh, Rust, and you want to keep those configurations entirely separate on your system, which would allow you to use all those things independently of each other. And the answer for this is uh, this uh, project called CH Emacs, which is on GitHub. And with this project, you can specify uh, uh, configurations, say default, space max, etc., etc. And for each of those configurations, you will have an entire different uh, Emacs environment. So this allows you to have different configuration running at the same time and with a switch, which you decide when you launch Emacs. You, you decide which configuration you want. It works at the Emacs level, but it's also compatible with Space Max. So you can also specify a sub Space Max configuration. So this is a really great program, which solves the, I guess, the main problem of Emacs. So here's how I use it. I have already Space Max installed and let's install the barebone Emacs. You might want to do the opposite, you know, start from the barebone Emacs. And so I will remove, uh, rename my folder to Space Max because that's actually uh, this Space Max installation. And I clone the uh, change Emacs. I perform the installation steps, which creates a symlink from .emacs to the specific uh, e .emacs of change Emacs. So this, uh, change Emacs configuration will add a special keyword which allows me to select the profile. That's the entire purpose of this uh, Change Emacs project. So if I copy uh, the, the standard configuration, uh, since I renamed the .emacsd folder to Space Max, there is no .emacsd folder, uh, I should be able to launch the space max configuration using this new uh, with profile keyword and indeed i can uh, have my uh, normal space max installation so i right now i installed the uh, change emacs with no loss of functionality if i launch default he will try to uh, launch within this the contact of this directory which does not exist so he complains here that he cannot find it so let's fix that thing and uh, make this directory with some empty init folder and you can see now I switch from a space max only installation to space max or barebone emacs which is great now I can choose you know and I can I'm not tied down to space max to dot to emacs or anything you might want to go <laughs> from the other way to you know barebone emacs to space max to optional space max but it's the same process now, since SpaceMax has a, its own peculiar rule to customization, so it actually looks into uh, .spacemax.d, and which, which in my case is alias to this thing, and here it contains the configuration for SpaceMax, so it will load the init.el, etc., etc. So I want to have specific configuration of SpaceMax for different languages, so I will just copy this uh, .spacemax into the different configuration I want to have. So me, I will program in Haskell using my normal stuff, which uses Dante, for instance. And I want to try out this new experimental uh, HIE feature of Haskell. So I will create a new configuration for that. And then 
I also program in, in OCaml, so I want to have this uh, configuration only focused on uh, OCaml. So the way to add a SpaceMax uh, configuration is to specify the SpaceMax dear environment variable and uh, change Emacs, ch Emacs is uh, aware of that thing. So you just copy the, the new uh, configuration and uh, change the names, the keys, etc. You change the directories to the one we've created. And of course, we can still launch uh, Space Max, there's no mistake. And now let's tweak the configuration. So I've launched a bare bone Emacs to just for the purpose of changing the the files. I don't require any functionality here, so let's launch a bare bone Emacs. Now I will uh, change the target of those org file because my configuration are in org file. So change the target. Now I change the actual configuration, and I will remove anything which is not. Uh, Haskell specific, so I remove pure script, OCaml, etc., etc., and I can destroy as much configuration here as I want. You can see that it will, uh, it has installed uh, and removed the uh, superfluous packages which I removed from my configuration. And I can, of course, do the same with uh, uh, OCaml, and I remove anything which is Haskell specific, etc., etc. I remove company GHCI, etc., etc. I tweak, I remove the hooks which are not linked to OCaml, and and this is great. I can launch it, and you can see here that it will remove many packages. It will install the packages that it requires. Uh, so Tuareg and Merlin and everything which is OCaml specific, etc., etc. The bottom line is I can, uh, okay, I can, uh, I can uh, version control those configurations, and in the end I end up with different versions of uh, Emacs. I can have barebone Emacs, I can have Haskell Emacs, I can have OCaml Emacs, I can have uh, experimental Haskell feature Emacs. And of course, if I launch again, you know, it won't install. That's part of the, the Space Max uh, functionality. And so this uh, way of, of dealing with things is really great. I can have all those configuration at the same time on my system. And I'm not tied down to any, uh, any specific uh, installation and so i can experiment merge etc etc you can see the point anyway i hope it's useful for the emacs user and because it tackles the main problem for emacs which is the uh, variety of configuration which exists out there and uh, i hope it's useful